My name is Kain Tender Genius, and in this short lesson, I'm going to teach you how to plot this hat that you can see on the screen. It is based on this equation here, x, y, and t. Uh, I'm actually doing this to prove that programmers are actually very amazing people, contrary to the opinion that programmers are antisocial. So if you believe that programmers are great, they are amazing, hit the subscribe button and also like this video and share it around. Feel free to let me know how you feel. Are programmers boring? Are programmers uh, reclusive and unfriendly people? Let me know in the comment box below. All right, so let me show you how to create this plot. If you have uh, Python installed, then open Jupyter Notebook and just go to Python 3. All right, so I'm just going to save it as hat plot. Hat plot, okay, you can call it any name, uh, there's no problem. So the first thing you want to do is to import numpy as np, that's numpy for uh, for numerical operations. Also import uh, maths, okay, and also import maths, matplotlib, matplotlib.py plot as plt. So this you use for plotting as plt. All right, so this hat curve is actually uh, a plot of two curves in the same axis, all right? Or two curves in the same uh, plot, all right? So normally I would like to run this import statement. And so just like I mentioned to you, it's based on this equation. So first we initialize t, and t is going to go from zero to two pi and we need 100 points. For it to be smooth, we need 100 points. So let's just say t is equal to np dot line space going from zero to two pi, two times pi. But we need to actually say np, np dot pi, all right? You can also say mat dot pi is also correct. And we need 100 points, okay? Now we also say x is equal to y is equal to. So what I'm going to do, instead of writing it out, I'm just going to copy it and paste since I've written it. So this is actually the equation we are writing, the Python form of this equation. So I'm, go I'm going to just copy it from my clipboard and just paste it there. And that way to save us a whole lot of time. So I'm going to paste for x, and I'm also going to do the same thing for y. So, all right, so at this point you have uh, x, uh, x, t, and y. So if I run this, uh, everything is correct. So if you look at t, x, and y, you can see that, for instance, you can look at t, uh, let's say run, and you can see that it has. Uh, 0 to 6.2. So, but now I'm not going to uh, cover the whole space. So, the next thing we want to do is to create the plot. So, I'm going to say plot plt dot plot. So, we are going to plot x against y, and color is going to be red, and line width is going to be, let's say, 20. Okay, so you can try something else. And let's say you want to impress your hobby or somebody you like, um, you can just put the title there, plt.title, and just call it my, my love. Uh, this is for, for you, okay? Perfect. All right, okay, let's just use something that, <laughs> It's like what we plotted. So um, let's make the both axes equal. So it's going to be the x axis and the y axis is going to be equal. So let's say plt dot axis is going to be equal. And finally, plt dot axis. Let's not show the axis. So let's turn both axes off, OK? And finally, I'm going to just show it, plt.show. All right, so this is how to create this beautiful hat. Let me run it and see if hopefully everything is going to go perfectly well. So it says 
plot like that pi plot has no attribute has no attribute plt plt dot plot so this is plt dot plot so let's see all right so this is what we have so you can actually save this as html download as as a html and just send it to anyone you can also mark it down and or you can also download it as a pdf and send it as an email attachment so you see that programmers are actually very amazing so i would like you to play around with this and also subscribe to my channel if we are amazing people and you like programming hit the subscribe button below like this video and also share it around i remain kind to the genius and i'd like to hear from you